Bum, 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 bum. Bam. Hey, last Outrider here with another very exciting Age of Sigmar video for you. This, my friends, is going to answer some of the most age old questions which has ever existed in 40K slash Warhammer slash Age of Sigmar. You are about to find it out here. I don't think that's necessarily a good thing, but. We will now learn about the Great Alliance, a bulwark against chaos. There was a time when Sigmar strode the mortal realms, battling monsters, tyrants, and worse as he explored the unfathomable domains of fire, metal, and shadow. On his quest, he encountered many great and powerful beings, intelligences akin to his own, a diverse pantheon of gods, demigods and creatures with whom order could be forged. Some aligned with Sigmar from common purpose or mutual benefit, whilst others were won over through some great favor. Two-headed Gorkamorka, for example had to be fought to a standstill before he would grant the god-king his respect. While it lasted, this great alliance was unstoppable. The powers of gods such as Malarion, Alariel, and Grigny ensured that no foe could prevail. Even Nagash was bound to their pacts. And together, the realms and their peoples prospered and prevailed. But avarice and arrogance sundered their unity until at last war existed, where once friendship had bloomed. As Gorka Morka rebelled, and Nagash betrayed, Sigmar drew those who are still loyal to his cause close and sealed the gates of his great city. As a time of light gave away to an age of chaos, an ancient adversary of the Dark Gods emerged. How's that just for one, two paragraphs? So we've just explained the origin of the orcs. Gorkamorka is a single two-headed entity who exists out in the warp. Where else can this be taking place? The mortal realms. That's the physical worlds. That's where we all, we mortal creatures, have our fun. And the warp is the immortal realms. Which the Chaos Gods lives, Gorkamorka lives, Sigmar lives... Uh, you also named a bunch of uh, Malarion lives, Alariel lives, Grigny lives, and if you don't know, for some 40k players, Grigny is, is the god of dwarves then. So we've got Malarion and elves, they're, they're all out there. That means these creatures never die, as long as those, I guess, avatars of them continue to exist. Even if there are no dwarves running around in 40k as of today, this definitely indicates the stunties are coming back because we have their avatar and they are his or her, its people. Elves are have its people. Sigmar, well, we are obviously humans are his people, so we will always exist. In many ways, that makes all of us demons. If, if, you, if people are going to start saying that um, the Stormcast are order demons, then everybody, all intelligent life, is a quote-unquote demon of some warp entity aspect. Can you see what I'm saying? I mean, that Sigmar, the, the demons of Sigmar will be anything human-like. The demons of Grigny is anything dwarf-like. The demons of Alariel is anything elf-like. 
Uh, I'm not sure what Malarion is, but I'm sure it's going to have its thing. And finally, we have a new player. I believe the old ones are now revealed as the Seraphon. Little enough is known about these enigmatic, enigmatic, sorry, creatures, which go by the name Seraphon. For they strike without warning, appearing to smite the forces of chaos with implacable fury before melting away without leaving a trace. Among the other warriors who fight for order within the mortal realms, there are none who fully comprehend the Seraphon, either from whence they come or why they fight. Perhaps only the storm-cast Eternals see them fully for what they are. Creatures of celestial magic whose hatred of the scions of chaos burn as bright as their own. That's the Seraphon. So, you have even realms beyond realms, is what that's saying. You've got things that are go so far back out into the warp that even the warp entities don't know who they are, really. The Seraphon are from there. And they, I'm, I'm assuming, are the old ones because they, their servants in the mortal realms are the Slan. And I'm betting possibly the Tyranid later. But when they, who knows? Are the Slan. Okay, and the Slan always followed the plans of the old ones. So I'm guessing that means the Seraphon are the old ones at this point. But who knows? Next, the Servants of Life, the Sylvaneth, are the children of Alariel's soul pods. There you go. Once they flourished in Gairon's magical glades, and their goddess delighted as they multiplied and replenished the realm of life. But the Chaos Gods looked upon this realm of plenty with malice, and none more so than Nurgle, who desires above all things to despoil its babbling brooks and lush, verdant valleys. As Nurgle's warriors wage their war of pestilence and decay, the deep woods have responded in kind. Shuddering with rage, they have unleashed vast armies of forest sprites, countless thousands of dryads swarming forth to defend their sacred glades. Branch wraiths gouging out eyes or throttling the unwary with lithe limbs. Mightiest of all, Towering tree lords stride through the ranks of the tree folk, crushing mortal and demon alike with bludgeoning blows from their branch limbs. Though the old alliance was broken long ago, and she no longer serves Sigmar's will, still, Alariel's war hosts muster in the deepest wild woods ready to smite those dark powers who would profane the sacred groves. Boom. Like I said, this is elves and elf-like things and everything like that would be the demons, if you're going to call it that word still, of Alaria. In the same way, Nurgle has all of his. Everything is going to be an avatar of some warp entity. Everything is going to be a demon of something at some point in time. That is going to be the nature of all intelligence. So next time we're going to be talking about bah, 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 the forces of chaos. So that, Oh, well, that's an interesting thing. That means Nurgle's counterpart has been changed. 
it's now Alario. Okay? So that means everybody's going to have a counterpart. This is what I'm thinking now. That so so that means instead of who was it? Uh, Zinch was the counter to who again? It wasn't Corn, was it? Yeah, I think it was. But that's not going to happen anymore. Things like that because now Alariel counters Nurgle, and I'm guessing uh, Malarion and Grindy will counter to other Chaos powers instead of who their counters used to be. So, until next time, bye! Mm -hmm.